Welcome to Learn to Use Your Online Class Space for the Bachelor of Psychological Science. We're aiming to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We want to know how to stay informed, find out what to do in the class spaces each week, and how to find and submit assignments. We'll also look at communicating with the teacher and other students. There's a link to the student portal on your college website up here in the top right. You can also go directly to the student portal at this address. When you arrive at the student portal, click on the login button here. If you're a new student, your username and password will have been emailed to you before the start of your course. If you're a continuing student, your username and password remain the same. If you can't find your login details, click here and there are some different options for sorting out your login, including talking to a real person at the IT help desk. When you log in, you'll see this page first, and it's a good idea to keep an eye on the college news and campus news. There are options at the top here for the news, which we can see on the screen now, then an option to go into your online class spaces. You have a link here to your personal details and to your enrolment information. Check your lecturer and tutorial locations on campus in this section. Then there's your academic results and your financial statements. There are also buttons to these sections up here in the top right. At the very top right, you can log out, change your password, go to your student email account, and also go to How To Guides and the IT Help Desk. As well as using this link to your online class spaces, you can also use this drop down menu at the top. This is useful if you're a continuing student, as this menu has a link to the archived classes you did up to trimester 2, 2016. To access classes from trimester 3, 2016 onwards, click on My Current Classes. Let's go into Current Classes now. Here you'll see a list of the units you're enrolled in. Also, the Psych Student Lounge. Let's take a look at that. There's lots of useful information in here. You might not need it all now, but keep in mind that it's here when you do need it. Um, you can keep an eye on announcements from the school, for example, check the exam timetables, attend some colloquium sessions, or buy and sell textbooks in the student forum section. Now let's look inside a unit. This one is Introduction to Psychology, Individual, Society and Culture. First of all, this orientation video is a great way to understand psychology courses and studying at ACAP. If you couldn't attend orientation on campus, definitely watch this one. The unit plan here tells you about this unit's learning outcomes. It has a summary of the unit's content, an assessment summary, some policies on assessment and recommended texts. The course guide here takes you to information on the whole Bachelor of Psychological Science course. This key context page gives you the names and contact details of your teaching and administration staff. It's vital to stay up to date with what's happening in the unit and the school. In the announcement section, this is where your teacher and school staff will post important information, so check it regularly. The discussion forum here is a place where you can ask questions and discuss the content of this unit with your classmates and teacher. Everyone enrolled in the unit will be able to see your posts in here. Email is a good way to communicate privately. Use the student portal link to get to your student email account. No doubt you'll be interested in the latest exam info. Check out this link here. I'll talk about this past program a bit later. So now what do you need to do each week for the unit? Well each week there's a lecture and a tutorial which is also called a lab or laboratory tutorial and there's self-study tasks associated with both lectures and tutorials. Here's the lectures section. If you're doing the unit online, come into this echo lecture capture section and watch the lectures. If you're studying on campus, attend the lecture on campus and you also have the recordings here for review. Each lecture has a range of material and activities that go with it and you'll find all that in this lecture resources section. Okay, onto the lab tutorials. There are materials for each week's tutorial in this resources section. Use these resources to prepare for your tutorials, which start in week two. If you're studying online, your tutorial will be in a platform called Blackboard Collaborate. There's information about Blackboard Collaborate here. In the first week of term, there'll be an induction session so you can learn how to use Blackboard Collaborate, which you access via this link. 
To attend your regular weekly tutorials, use this one here. Next we find Assessments. Click on an Assessment Information link and you can see an overview, and below is a document of detailed assessment instructions. When you're ready to submit an assignment, go to the Submit Assignment link here. Do keep in mind that there are support services for you in your studies. At the top of the class space there's information about PASS, which stands for Peer Assisted Study Sessions. These sessions are run by experienced students to help you out with the content of some units. Student learning support, which you can access here, can help with things like time management, referencing, formatting assignments and English language development. There's also an assignment feedback service called Smart Thinking that's available in selected units. If your unit has a Smart Thinking link, you can upload a draft assignment here for review and get feedback from a Smart Thinking tutor within 48 hours. And finally, at the very top of the class space, there are some links to the student portal where you have your email, enrolment information, etc. Then there's the library, some handbooks, assessment resources and student learning support again. Get in touch with us at Student Learning Support if you have any queries or need specific advice about an assignment you're writing. Good luck with your studies.